is Humvee B pillar modification. I'm just showing people what is here once you cut this away. Um, what you decide to do is your business. I assume no no liability for somebody copying what I'm doing or using this as an idea to do something to their vehicle and then they get in an accident or something and get hurt because this B pillar is modified or removed. I'm not telling you to modify or remove it. But going by this AM General picture, there apparently was a jig at one point and there's some reference here and dimensions. This is actually what the piece looked like that's no longer available. It looks like it was a solid piece of aluminum or something that would fit up inside once you modified this. So here's following what that picture shows. This is what I ended up cutting out. So here's this. Some people say this is uh, reinforced inside, it's, it's uh, two layers, it's not two layers. This is a groove cut in here for some reason. I don't know if that's for strength or if that's for some other purpose. Now, this piece here, it's, it's literally sheet metal. It's maybe 16th, it's not thick at all. So, inside turn the light on there we go that's what it looks like inside on the b pillar side you know the b pillar post your seat belt would be mounted here above it now when you go around here something i did not know and i don't think i've seen mentioned although it could have been so this this horizontal b pillar bar actually looks like it goes clean through to the passenger side it's just it's riveted here the body's riveted to it and it's welded around here and you've got a reinforcement right here so I was under the assumption that this piece only went from the outside pillar to the trans hump it does not it goes clean through to that side one long piece by the looks of it so what I'm going to do since the piece is no longer available this here this is only like eighth inch this is thin so I was able to pick up a piece of aluminum angle eighth inch one by two and what I plan to do is I'm going to put it in here about all the way all the way against this outer post and it'll actually go up because that's cut open there it'll you'll be able to slide it up and I'm going to close this in and I'm going to weld this shut it's all aluminum so you need an aluminum welder this is what it looks like on the bottom it actually fits inside the other piece once you clear out any pop rivets or anything that are holding it back and it I cut it a tiny bit short it just misses hitting that support up there once that's done I'm likely going to box these with two little pieces and I'll weld it all the way around and weld it to this plate that I'm putting in. So that is what it looks like once you cut this open. What you do is entirely up to you. Um, I'm 5'9", I'm putting in an aftermarket seat base and basically this is I cut, I believe, an inch and a half in. I believe this was three inches wide here, and I cut it in half. So it's gaining me 
an inch to an inch and a half maybe. But what it's allowing me to do is the new seat has a uh, reclining lumbar. So it allows that seat back to recline, which greatly increases the comfort of ride. And even if you can't get the seat super far back, it makes it so you're not up against the wheel sitting straight up and down. So hopefully this helps somebody.